That's all I'm going to say about that. Daniel Jones' performance came down to release time. 16 to 24 with a touchdown when getting rid of the ball in less than two and a half seconds. You could see clearly the game plan was to do that given the type of defense he was up against. But as we saw on the two interceptions and the two-point conversion, if he held onto the ball just even fractionally longer than that two-second window, that's where the struggles set in. Busy day of news, none of it any good for the reigning NFC champion San Francisco 49ers. High wire act of the reigning champions becoming increasingly wobbly as they lost defensive cogs earlier this year. A ton of running backs and now Jimmy Garoppolo back on the bench for the second time this year with an ankle injury. He returned from the first only to be benched in a home loss to Miami. He's lost for six weeks or more. Potentially surgery could be part of that as well. This was no good. George Kittle made a spectacular grab against Seattle, but broke a bone in his foot making that grab. This is the second time he'll be out and miss games this season. This loss expected to be eight weeks or more, which for all intents and purposes ends his season. Quan Alexander gone as well, not injured, traded to the New Orleans Saints on Monday for Kiko Alonso at a fifth. Alexander came over as a free agent from Tampa Bay prior to last season. He battled injuries last season and this as well and this is sobering inventory to take as a uh, quick turnaround for the game uh, against Green Bay and when the Niners are on the field they could be without 13 of their 22 starters from Super Bowl 54 where they led by 10 in the fourth quarter five of those players are no longer with San Francisco with two retirements and three more on new teams five others including uh, Jimmy G and Kittle are confirmed out while three more have uncertain statuses